we've been thinking about the Good Friday Agreement and how best to kind of, I suppose, recognise the 25 years. There's lots of people who are famous names, famous politicians and people know from the TV. And then there's the people who kind of worked relentlessly behind the scenes. And we took the approach we would like to just really acknowledge those. I am deeply honored that Trinity has uh, decided to provide me with an honorary doctorate for my work on the Northern Irish peace process. 25 years on, it's not perfect, but it's still standing, and it is the way to the future. There aren't many successful peace agreements around the world. In my lifetime, there have been very few, but the Good Friday Agreement is one of those. Well, I think in a peaceful Ireland, they have openings today that people 40, 50 years ago could only have dreamt of. What I'd love to say to the students of Trinity College is to come north, get involved in exchanges, and for the northerners to come down here and debate. On the rare occasion I had the opportunity to do that, and I learned a great deal from it. It seemed, as with any anniversary, here's a good time to remind ourselves of what this cost, what it's worth, and why we have to recommit ourselves to the principles and the values that it espoused.